Hello and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. Colonize everything. Alright, so we're gonna do a new, new stuff where I speed up the build lead times and and I, as you can hear, I'm recording over because a voice recorder somehow died during while I was recording. So now I'm doing a voiceover. So what we're doing, so we're planning on gonna do a, some missions. We're gonna try to explore Kerbin, aka Orbit, and come back and test a terrier while splashed down on Kerbin. Okay, so you see me accepting the contract. And I was of course talking about doing all this, so it doesn't make really any sense. But we're gonna roll with it anyway. So yeah, now we're checking to see. Ah, uh, yep, yep, yep. It's working great. Perfect. Uh, yep, we got both of them. Yep. It's working great so far. And now we're gonna go into mm -hmm. A buildy phase. Hey, and I sped up this buildy phase and added some amazing royalty free music. So, yeah, the music will be in the description. So, here we are building uh, the Orbiter. Not Orbiter. The Orbiter come back to your. It's gonna be called Testing Craft. So here I am, I'm just building the main section, adding some radiators, because why not? That's ah, looking, okay. oh look, loots, but nah, I decided to go with the big parachute time. Get the drone shoots, because that's important, because we'll be re-entering the atmosphere at very high speeds. 2,000 kilometers per second. Saw the rock of it. Oh, those don't fit. Those don't fit. So we go with these ones. And we add four of them. Not four of them. We add eight of them. Ha, huh, now I'm crazy now. And I'm adding some aerodynamics. Because the last middle, we used heat shields. Which is expensive. And more parachutes. Because why not? Testing craft. Okay. Eh? Launching. Okay. Launching the testing craft has you in three, two, one. No, not yet. Up, oh, yep, not. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, we know. We want you. You. You're gonna go. Yes. Trash space bar. Come on. Hey. Two, two. Oh, there we go. Let's get the rocket blasted and then try to try to do a gravity turn. But that ends poorly and you start spinning out of control, it's probably why I couldn't make an orbit in the first place. That's fine, because we didn't fall on the sky, which is all that really matter. Okay. Eh. Separation. Explosions. Explosions. Okay. Now we are... We are rocketing. We are doing some sick flips to get to where we're going. <sighs> I know how to rocket, don't worry. I have built the I have built rockets Kerbal Space Shogun before. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Sort of, kind of, not really. But yes, here we are, rocketing away into space, theoretically. Just checking. If I get there. Nah, 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 I'm still burning straight up because that's the, and then decrease the throttle because this engine is powerful. <laughs> Very powerful. Just blasted it up at almost a thousand meters per second. To so, hey, that's early enough, so yeah. So, yeah, we're just gonna get a nice altitude of 82. Yeah, we get into space. Yeah, we time warp and get into space. 
do 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 space time la 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 we go again to space on our favorite rocket ship that is very explosive because it's kind of space right now woohoo we're gonna make the space now we commence operation fire in a straight line I said commence operation fire in a straight line okay it's almost a straight line and, and that's what that's what it is it doesn't matter. It has to be a straight line. It doesn't matter if it's the straight line you want. It's just operation straight line. Is. You got like four to five. Yeah, four to five uh, degrees of freedom. <laughs> and then I discovered we don't have enough rocket fuel to get around there. So it's like, nah, I'm not gonna revert and build more rocket. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see how skills and test the carrier engine because you need to test the carrier engine you flip it around to retrograde we completely miss retrograde <laughs> flipping going into retrograde once more <laughs> detaches down so it doesn't slam into us again when while we're re-entering okay and now we're gonna do time warp. Wait, no. First, we're gonna do some low, low, or low, yeah, low orbit science. Collecting all of these science, and then we're gonna fire into the atmosphere. Once we time warp into the atmosphere. <sighs> so, you guys, tell me if you like this post voiced over or real time voice over just tell me in the comments I don't I can do either or that doesn't really matter to me think huh we should have retracted that Kibinotron sooner but oh well too late now gonna go to the atmosphere can don't want it to burn burn baby burn <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> The antenna. Oh, we did activate the antenna. Oh, yeah, we just retracted it for sort of safe re entry. And then we are going to do some high altitude science. Yeah, high altitude science. Keep the data and observe the material. Wait, did. We already, we already observed the military space? No, we didn't observe the military space yet. That's falling through the atmosphere. And you can see our debris being burnt up. And just turning it to land just in case we do pass over land. We did it to do. Us flying through the atmosphere at a whopping 2,000 meters per second. And decides uh, that decide to activate the radiators because yeah, because that's efficient. When you go down very fast through a burning hot atmosphere, burning in the atmosphere, that's exactly what you need to. You need your radiators on. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. Yeah. Okay, there we are, blasting through the atmosphere at 2,000 meters per second. Oh, and I see a heat gauge. I don't know what the heat gauge is for. So I try to shut down turning on the radiators, but that didn't work, but it's okay because it didn't burn up anyway. So I'm completely and utterly fine. We're going to be completely fine. I know this because I already played it before because this is post commentary. <laughs> Burning through the atmosphere very fast as we are slowing down and very fast. At least it's the pro oh it's not a big issue if it was da, 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 da. Okay. Ah. So now we don't need the heat shield, so we just throw the heat shield up. And it's still stuck us, so we do some nice wiggles. To that's parachute time. Then do more wiggles to get it off. And there it goes. Bye! 
Have fun in the ocean. <laughs> okay, so now we are going down for real. We don't want to cut parachutes for trying to. Ah, yes, we gotta activate the altitude to higher. Make sure you won't do that yet. You gotta speed up time first. And I just tell yeah, that's enough because the ocean's getting pretty close there. And the drogue chutes are gonna open. There's the drogue chutes. And then we activate normal chutes. We've got two large and one extremely large and fall straight down because why not? And then we do some swick swings and then whoop and we're upright. <laughs> So then I decided to open the main chute first. Oh, there goes the heat shield. <laughs> At least I think that was the heat shield. Yep, that was the heat shield. And I just watch it fall. Falling. Falling. I just watch it fall until it hits the ocean. You can even hear the splash. Even though we're this high and there's no kerbals to hear it. But you can even hear it. I'm just gonna watch it until it dip there to it. There it went. It's kasplooshed. And now we open this up further, even though it was already open anyway. That's a ghost spread angle. I'm gonna increase that, even though they probably didn't do anything. I just did it anyway. Ah, now we continue to fall. And then I discovered, oh wait, I could do more science. So I transmit the space science back. No, wait, no, I don't transmit the space science back. I transmit the low atmosphere, the higher atmosphere science back to get atmosphere over ocean science and then in the ocean and then I press the wrong button about two or three times and then I figure out, ah, you have to extend the antenna as we're no longer going through the atmosphere at 2,000 meters per second. Okay. We want to transmit that, so we get low flying. It's like, uh, why not work? Oops, and we ran an electric charge. So now we just wait until we splash down and we are sideways again. We collect all the solar power you will ever need in your life. It's like, oh yes, it's blocked by the parachute, that makes sense. So I just splash down. Splash. Flip over, and we have power again. It's like, good, I can see the infinite beast of abyss. And we run our test, complete our mission that we set out to do, and do a little bit more science, and then we return home. Oops, no, no, got enough electric charge. Gotta wait a little bit. We're stoned four times speed, in case you didn't notice. <laughs> I definitely don't notice that. Oh, switch, go away. The like, cat's yeah, enough waiting. Okay. So, now. Now we researched some stuff with all the science we gathered. In this, we're gonna research some balloons. In our next buildy phase, will be building time. Buildy, our next buildy thingy will be for uh, building a nice weather satellite. Not really, it's not really a weather satellite. It's more of like you know, it's more because it's more of a proof of concept. I just want to see if I can mix up the float, cause why not? Because I felt like it, so I did it. That's why. <laughs> so sue me. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't want that sick. And we're also very close to getting the extra planetary launch pads and things to start making things in space. So the next plan is that in tomorrow's episode, we're going to send our first Kerbal into space. That is the plan for the next episode. Here am I just looking through, discovering. I don't 
can't research that, I attempt the missing two signs. So then I decided it'll be a great idea to build some. An airship. And that should make it enjoy the nice building music I have selected. I will fight it eventually, don't worry. <laughs> it's just just difficult for me to find things. So I figured it out. So we went so we were doing like Kerbin. We're doing a mixture of Kerbin high altitude and heavy payload. But first we do standard. So now this is our first initial test of our amazing weather probe. So I just extend the, the extend those thingies. What are they? Antennae, the high gain antennae, because they're they have dual support. They can receive data and relay data. So they're one of my favorites because you get to both of them. Ah. Yes, I don't have that in my work, so I have to inflate the balloons. They make an awesome sound too. And I quickly discovered that that's not enough. That's not enough force, or that's not enough lift. So I went back in the VAB, that uh, will happen soon, in a little bit. Gammon. Yeah, yes, it's like, oh dude, I need more lift. Yeah, so we go back to the VAV. And we basically shove up four more balloons. And just remove the... those computer shows because we don't need them. So, we are adding two high altitude and two heavy payload. And now, we... blow everything up. Gotta inflate all the blues individually because we're not doing them to a reaction group because I am smart and I should probably do that because this is probably not but that there's deafening sounds of blowing up. Yeah I really like balloons. <laughs> so when they discovered that these balloons that I can make side satellites. And my plan is I want to put some of the like some little like floaty station floating little probes in Jules atmosphere. And maybe eventually made a make a huge like a huge floating base. Don't know if that will work. But we're gonna give it a try. <laughs> but we're not anywhere close to that yet. We can barely get out the atmosphere. But yeah. See me, I'm going up, 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 up. This is going to take a while, so I 
speed up time. I think I already sped sped up time. But yeah, we're just going up, and up, and up, and up, and up, <laughs> and more up. Okay, so I'm gonna take this time to thank my sister and my father for uh for letting me know that it's probably not the best idea to have people view me building uh, building building the rockets in the VAB or the SAV. It's probably not the best idea. So hi. I spent the up and I got to save with this raw video footage in front of me of just the basic edits. It's actually quite good. I enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be very fun. We're going to colonize everything. This is episode 2, by the way. <laughs> the first episode was a pilot, and I think it was well received. I don't know. i going to do this anyway, because I like doing this. So I really like uh, doing balloons. So I decided to deflate some of the balloons, because I don't think we need all of them now, because we are going quite high and very fast. So now we're gonna do some science, and we're gonna just shaking, and we're, yeah, we're going quite high. So yeah, well now we're gonna do some science. It's gonna be great, to go do some science. Gonna extend our antennae. I guess I forgot to do that on the ground, so now we're extending them now. So now we can act as a floating research and communications. But I, I think it despawns. Yeah. I think it despawns. That's fine. I'll figure out how to make it not despawn. <laughs> the main point is, I'm having fun making this series and I hope you guys like it too. So yeah, now we're just connecting all the science, just scaring the data, and then we're good. This is just a great proof of concept showing our I can build weather satellites. Like, and I'm very excited to see if I can do this on Jewel. Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna transfer, we're just gonna get as much data as we possibly can, and we're gonna transfer it into the experiment storage, and then we're gonna kick it off and test its parachutes and stuff. Well, first we're gonna go a little bit higher and try to get more science from higher altitude. <laughs> I should have spent this apart up too. But now yeah. <sighs> it's going great. Nice do nice good floating. I think this would have stabilized eventually, but I got too impatient. So <laughs> oh, oops, and I opened those parachutes. I decided Yeah, time to kick this off. <laughs> do some little bit more experience like yeah, time to kick it off. I can't activate any motor balloons, so I decided it's time to you now just do the remaining of the science and kick it and kick the the land the 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 science probe retriever nine thousand. Yeah, that's what it is. And the music you just heard, that's gonna be in all of my building time lapses. It is the building music, and the building music will be in the description, just so you know. So you can go and view it. I'll have a link to where I found it and everything. So that I might not get copyrighted, which would be good. So I so do the remainder of my science. And I throw it off. Probably a bit too funny, but it's okay because it's because it's a probe. See it tumbling through the atmosphere. We say goodbye to a science balloon. So now that we know that we're not in any immediate danger, we're just gonna uh, activate the main parachute. And then we're gonna travel back to our science uh, scientific satellite. And do a little bit more science and send it down. Yeah, just looking over all the like five science I got. This is a good proof of concept. I liked making it. That was fun. 
the main reason why I got the balloon so I can make a floating base on, ju on Jewel. You yeah, see the nice floaty thingy, even though the solar panels are not even sticking at the sun. It's fine. There, uh, yeah. You know, let's transmit a little bit more science. This is why not just test if the connection's working. And we're not getting good power because the sun, the the, the solar panels are upside down, and I'm running out of things to say, but it doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah, it's just floating. That's nice floating. And then I decide it's probably a good idea to look at the space probe again. Yep, and we see it's coming down nicely at a, at 3.2 meters per second. So yeah, okay. So now that as we see this tumble and get it recovered, I, in the comments below, I want you to comment on where we sh on where we should colonize f first, the Mun, Mimis, or Duna. Pick any of those series in the comment section below. I don't care. I'll figure that out. Yeah, gotta do all the science. I said all of the science. I'm probably gonna make like a extended version of the science retriever probe. You gotta have some people on the moon or wherever and just throw it back. Yeah. So now with the 50 science we have now we're gonna research something. I don't know what. I think my plan in the next episode is to go to is go to uh, do a flyby of the moon and of the moon and Mimis. Yeah. That's the plan. You can see. I was just could check if my solar systems were working, but they weren't. It's uh, that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. That doesn't really matter. I was looking around, it's like, yeah, no. And you can see my orbiting science station has disappeared as well. That's the uh, Nah, I'm indifferent about it. Alright. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, as you see, we are very close to getting extra planetary lunch pads up and running, and we'll see you in the next video. And make sure you comment which place we should colonize first. Goodbye. Okay. Goodbye. It was nice doing this post stream thingy.